How to Dry Desiccant Silica Gel If you've ever found yourself wondering how to revive your silica gel desiccants after they've done their job of absorbing moisture, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to dry and reuse your silica gel effectively. First, it's important to understand that silica gel can be regenerated multiple times, making it a cost-effective and efficient desiccant. Here are a few methods to dry it out. Using an oven. One of the most common methods is to use an oven. Spread the silica gel in a single layer on a baking sheet to ensure even heating. Heat it in a regular oven at a temperature of around 150 degrees Celsius to 200 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 390 to degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour to an hour and a half. For example, you can heat it at 150 degrees Celsius for up to three and a half hours until the blue color is restored if you're using indicating silica gel. Microwave method. If you're in a hurry, you can also use a microwave, but be careful. Place the loose silica gel in a microwave safe pan and heat it at a medium power setting for three to five minutes. Check if the blue color has returned. If not, stir the gel and heat for another three to five minutes. Repeat this process until the gel is fully dry. However, avoid high power settings as they can damage the gel. Desiccant dryers and reactivators. For a more professional approach, you can use desiccant dryers or reactivators. These machines use hot air to regenerate the silica gel, making it dry and ready for reuse. This method is particularly useful if you need to dry large quantities of silica gel. Specific guidelines. When drying silica gel, it's crucial to follow some specific guidelines. For instance, never heat silica gel above 162 degrees Celsius, 325 degrees Fahrenheit, as it can damage the gel and render it useless. Also, if you're using packaged desiccants like dry can registered or dry box registered, make sure to remove the gel from the packaging before heating, as the packaging may not be oven safe. Monitoring saturation. It's also important to monitor the saturation level of your silica gel. Indicating silica gel changes color as it absorbs moisture from blue to purple, then pink, and finally white when fully saturated. Once it's fully saturated, it will no longer absorb moisture and might even releases moisture back into the air if the temperature is high enough. By following these methods and guidelines, you can easily dry and reuse your silica gel desiccants, making them a reliable and long-lasting tool for controlling moisture in various environments.